Hello everyone, my name is Emily and I work here in the Science Gallery at the Manitou Museum as a science communicator. And today I'm going to be showing you guys one of my favorite experiments to do here in the gallery. Now, have you ever been studying for a test or maybe reading a really good book and then the light bulb that you're using to see just decides to go out? It's pretty inconvenient. Now, here in the Science Gallery, we have a bit of an unorthodox way of creating light. And we use something that most of you probably have in your fridge at home. We use pickles. I'm gonna show you guys how we do this with this machine over here. Now, this is essentially just an enclosed simple circuit. There's a wire connecting this one conductor on this side uh, to this one on the other side. And there is a nice lovely dill pickle uh, connecting those two. Now, dill pickles are actually really good conductors because they contain a lot of salt or sodium chloride as it's commonly known. And these ions are great for distributing electrical currents. Now, I'm gonna show you guys what happens when we send a stream of electrons through this wire, through our pickle, and down to the other side. All right, so we're sending a stream of electrons into one side of the pickle. As you guys might be able to see, it is starting to slowly smoke and spark a little bit. And the end of the pickle does begin to glow. So, as the sodium chloride ions are being excited by the electrons passing through the pickle, they actually emit photons, which we see as light. Now, sodium gives off a yellow flame. If we were to be using uh, something that was saturated in, say, potassium chloride instead of sodium chloride, it would actually produce a pink light. So that's a pretty cool way to make a light bulb. Now, this is actually a pretty dangerous experiment, so I wouldn't suggest that you guys try this at home. Because this is connected to the house current, that's connected to 120 volts of electricity being sent through this pickle right now. So if I were to touch it, because I am also a conductor, those 120 volts of electricity would go through me. And that could hurt me very, very badly and potentially be lethal. So I don't suggest that you guys try this at home. I bet you guys never thought pickles could be this electrifying. Thanks for joining me, and I hope to see you next time.